And I'm going to start talking a bit about the technology again. At what point did you start moving towards digital cameras? Which film really kicked that off for you? Well, Mental was the first film I shot. Which was in between those two. So this little Australian film yeah, yeah. in between these two big Hollywood and, blockbusters. And I shot, of course, Ender's Game I shot um, digital and I shot the uh, dressmaker digital. Most recently, yes. Um, I've been trying to shoot digital for years. You've been discouraged from doing it? Yes. So I gather so. you are an advocate of it. You like the idea, yes? I do. Uh, way back on Canon bought out their first EOS camera, Mm -hmm. And um, prior to that, I'd been using a Nikon camera that Panavision put out as a, what was called a preview, and you were supposed to be able to take this still, put it into a computer, and punch in a few things, and it'd come up looking exactly like a Zeiss lens. And yeah, it was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. Work. I mean, it was it was a, it was a, a ghost of an idea. <clears throat> but um, then Canon bought these cameras out and I bought one, not particularly for... Which became because I could. the 5D and the 7D models. It was, uh, that was a, uh, I think it was a D30. The, the earlier ones. Well, very early. Yeah. It was the first one. And anyway, I started doing shots of my lighting and well, I'd go back and stick it in my computer. Then I'd see the dailies the next day, go back and look at my computer and say, that's not that different. A little tweak here and a tweak there, it'll look exactly like... Hmm. And so I then started to use that as a, a tool. As a stills reference. <coughs> as a stills reference. And it's a fantastic tool. Um, the advantage was that you could actually take this still of a lit set, go over and put it on a small screen, and then just focus totally on that small screen. You're not distracted by all the lighting, the people, the thing going around. You look at, that, look, look at that scene and say, What's good in the lighting there, and what's mm. bad? You know, God, what you know, what what what, and you really assess the scene, ex extracted out of the world. And I've, I've I, personally, I found that fantastic. The, the 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 adjustments I made on that certainly made my films a lot better. Right. And eventually, it got to the stage when the last probably ten films, I've had a uh, an assistant and a big, big bloody screen computer. And the first, very interesting, with the new director, the first day, <coughs> he'd say, what's that over there? And I'd say, oh, that's, that's my, oh, you know, forget what, what And then they'd look at it, and then they'd go to Daly's, and then they'd look at it again, say, shit. And you <laughs> couldn't get them away from this thing. And, it, you know, makeup, hair, wardrobe. And reference for everything. Every, everyone would come in and say, look, would you take a still or something? Right. Say, and it, what I then eventually got, an assistant who could take us still <laughs> and and service all the so something like Peter Pan, the assistant was it was endlessly just taking sills, mm. uh, mostly for me, but for anyone that wanted them. And it was a, a fantastic facility. So the point being is that I was I'd I'd seen what digital could do. Yeah. But just just through that that uh, of course my ca uh, my cameras. I bought every new Canon that came out mm. and, <clears throat> and adapted it to this. Um, and so when I finally got a chance to use a digital camera <clears throat> on, on Mental, for example, uh, one of the cameras arrived on a Thursday. The second arrived on a Friday. We shot on the Monday. Do you remember what model it was? Which camera? Red. The Red. Red, Red Epic. Okay. Yeah. 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 So the first, you, so you didn't really play around with the, all the types that had come before that. Like the Sony's, oh, the Panasonic's, much? No, no, no. Well, I, 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 obviously, I'd gone to evenings. I'd gone to the. I'd seen the the whole rigmarole that um, Panavision had for uh, the way they'd modified a Sony camera, and mm. uh, yeah, and um, yeah. I mean, I obviously stayed aware of all that, but no studio would let me use it. But with the Reds now, and, the, and you know, the, there are several directors and cinematographers that have been advocating these, you know, Peter Jackson, Robert Rodriguez, whatever. Yeah. Um, at, and I think cinemato digital cinematography now is at a point where it is arguably better than film in terms oh, of it, quality, it's, resolution, oh, no, look, all of that. Uh, f film was a very inexact business. There were massive variables over which we had no control. In the early days, it was stock. Was very, each, each batch of stock was a little different. 
then, of course, the massive difference, the lab, between uh, whether your stock went in early in the day or late in the day, and even if you had a long run, the first and the last foot footage were processed to a whole different, uh, uh, not a whole different, but a noticeably different uh, uh, resolution quality. So there was maintaining consistency was really <coughs> hard. I, I mean, I, I've, early in my career, I used to carry a densitometer, which was a way you could actually uh, exactly measure what the lab had done. And you shot a, I used to shoot a four uh, scale, gray scale, a white and two greys and a black. And then I train an assistant to read those. Mm -hmm. And then they just put them in a graph form and you could actually compare day to day. And it was, it was never, <laughs> never, never two days the same. On top of that, for the last 10 years at least, we've been digitizing the film. Mm. Digital <laughs> so intermediate. So they turn around, they don't use a digital camera, but then they turn around and digitize the film. So it's all it is in, in digital anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and then of course we uh, do a digital intermediate on that. Mm. Uh, nobody's doing chemical intermediates anymore. Uh, you know, chemical, chemical editing, yeah. yeah. It's all on the avid or Chemical time. And, and then f finally, the really, the really important part for me, I mean, film, of course, can be released and is being released on digital cinema. But digital cinema is so far ahead of um, the prints. The that projector to, system. The projector system was appalling. Mm. First of all, it's incredibly unsteady. They talk about resolution of film, but in actual fact, I've had the experience where I, I had the digital film being projected digitally on this side of the screen and the film being projected on this side of the screen. So celluloid form. versus digital. So because I was timing, uh, I was uh, given the job of, oh, it was, it was, um, was Narnia. Yeah. I was given the job of producing the, tech, the um, digital prints from the lab. So I had to make the digital file look a bit like the film. Mm -hmm. And so I had them side by side. The resolution on this, this digital was way ahead of anything I was seeing on the other side. And it took me a while to get why. And it was that because, of course, the film was in the projector wandering around. And the, the claw the mechanism is, that, is not, yeah. if you hold it steady enough, it'll just rip, rip it apart. So they've got to leave it loose. And it just kept, and so you, you had this massive, frame by frame, the film may have had more information, I don't know. But the way it was being projected, it had it's a lot less. Jittering look, about all over the place. Yeah, look, and then, of course, the digital is just dead solid, yeah. clear as a bell. And of course, what they see, and this is an ego thing, when my film is released, this appalling prints made from Taiwan or some fast lab anywhere just bashes out thousands of prints for a big hit. A few good ones hit the big city, we, we check those. The rest of them go unchecked, all over, and it looked, you know, I've seen my films in cinemas around the world that are just disgusting, absolutely appalling. And of digital, it basically can't happen. I yeah. mean, it can happen, but there has to be almost a deliberate process. Uh, probably the only thing that really can go wrong is they don't put the right voltage on the lamp. But it, it, it's not that big yeah, a and most anymore. cinemas are now digital yeah. projectors. Everything is yeah. going digital. Yeah.